pleasant weather this morning, uh, fresh easterly breeze with a temperature of 20 centigrade or uh, 67 Fahrenheit. Royal Princess will sail for Kushadazi, Turkey, with last tender leaving shore at 4 o'clock this afternoon. Obviously, we cannot accommodate everyone in the last boat, and we would ask that you plan your day accordingly. Ladies and gentlemen, have a nice day in Patmos. Kalimera, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the island of Patmos. I hope you're feeling okay and you are ready for your excursion. To fit? Okay. The island of Patmos is the most northern island from the group of islands called Dodecanes, Dodecanesos, the Greek name to it, which means 12 islands. In Greek, Dodeca means 12, and Nisos means islands. Actually, there are more than 12. There's at least 15 of these islands, but the biggest ones and the most well known are 12, such as the island of Rhodes, which I'm sure you heard about, the island of Kos, and perhaps you heard of the island where the sponge divers come from called Kalimnos. All these islands belong to the same group. Patmos is one of the smallest and has an area of only 34 square kilometers. Maximum length about 12 and a half kilometers and maximum width approximately five and a half kilometers. The 3,000 inhabitants from Patmos live in three major towns. The first one is this one here where we are right now. This is the town of Scala, which is the biggest town of them all, with about 1,600 inhabitants. That's where most of the business takes place. That's where all the facilities are, and a variety of shops, restaurants, cafeterias, all the banks are here, etc., etc. Behind me, that's the island of Patmos. It looks quite big, believe it's not very big. And we start from the very north part. The north part of the island, you see a town there. That's my favorite town. Can you imagine why? That's where you are. That's where I don't live there anymore, but I'm from there. Okay, my parents, my brothers and sisters, all my family are still there. The town of Campos is the most smallest of all. It has about 600 inhabitants an agricultural town. The town of Scalania, which is the biggest one with 1,600 cabins, which is the most of the business takes place. And by the way, the crater from this, uh, from, uh, the harbor from this uh, uh, town here is first to be the crater of a volcano. These are all volcanic islands. Okay, all of them. That's Ikaria. You heard of Ikaros before? Yeah. 
that's where the first pilot fell down, Icarus, okay? You see here it's called the Icarian Sea because of Icarus which fell down there, straight ahead of us. You see a very high mountain peak there on the other island. This is a mountain peak which is about 1,400 meters high. It's Samos. You heard of Samos before where the sweet wine comes from and Pythagoras? Yeah? Now between Samos and Italia, you see some islands there, they are called Furni. Let's continue to the right hand side of you. You see a piece of land there very far away which looks like a camel, right? Yeah. That's where you're going to go to. Right. That's Turkey. That's Turkey, okay? So you're going to, the ship is going to go actually between Samos and this piece of land which looks like a camel's back. There's a street. My name is Saki. I'm your guide for the day. First we're going to go to the cave of the Revelation, okay? And after that we're going to go to the capital town of Patmos called Hora. We're going to visit there a nunnery, a traditional house, and then the monastery of St. John. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're ready for the first stop, which is going to be the cave where St. John wrote the revelation here. This gentleman here, this gentleman is called Emmanuel Santos. He was a Patreon. He was the one that prepared or started the civil war against, the, against Turkey. To remind you, Greece was conquered at least 400 years from Turkey, which is a very, very long time. Okay, he started the civil war in the year 1821. In this 400 years, thank God we managed to keep your faith. We're still Christians. We're all Greek Orthodox. 98% from all Greeks are Greek Orthodox. 1% are Catholics. 1% are Muslims. As far as the Muslims are concerned, they are Turks, which were here over many centuries. They still have their own Okay, we're ready now to go to the nunnery. So that's the name of it. Well, there's a shield there. That's right. Uh, so I did it before you did that. <laughs> I wanted to have the pleasure. <laughs> and when she, usually the nuns are inside there. That's the area which is restricted for the visitors naturally. And we just have to ring the bell so they know that somebody is here, the visitors are here. Okay. Now ladies and gentlemen, no photos inside the chapels, okay? and the town hall. Hora can be seen now straight ahead of you on top of the hill. In the center of Hora, you see the monastery of St. John, which we're going to visit. Oh, 
If you look now straight ahead of you, you see a high point there, on the right hand side actually now. Yeah. That's the highest point in Patmos, 213 meters high. And right on top you see a white building, that's the chapel of the Prophet Helias, which is celebrated on the 21st of July. Very typical for such celebrations is that after every church service, coffee is served with all types of um, sweets, local sweets, accompanied with soft drinks and water, and in many cases that is followed with um, food, beverages, and also music played from local musicians. When such feasts take place, they usually last at the very, very morning hours, usually 5 or 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock in the morning, the whole night through, and all the things I mentioned to you are completely free. No matter what visitors are there, if they're Greek or not Greek, no matter what nationality, these people are welcome. They are allowed to participate. They can drink and eat and dance with us, no matter who they are and where they come from. The island here is just very, very hospitable. And they have not been spoiled here for massive tourism. We do not have massive tourism in Patmos compared to some other islands. Patmos does not have an airport, so Massive tourism cannot exist here.
el móvil está de este lado. Sí, te está pero, dando. Pero bueno. Te saco a ti, yo saco a ti. No, ponte. Pues, 